watch our country can come to you and We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men I shall resign, presidency, effective Mr. at noon for the for the generations who know that every man and woman in every town and village is vital to the fabric of life in Marshall County. This could easily be the story of me or you or someone we all love. A story of independence, perseverance, and living in our own home for as long as we possibly can. And some pretty simple services make it all possible. Keeping us all as independent as we can possibly be. Healthy and safe. Real services. Any client that walks in the door could be our brother, could be our mother, or it definitely could be us someday. So aging is an issue that's going to affect everyone, regardless of your income level, regardless of where you live. Aging will affect us all. We've piloted many programs for Indiana and for the country. We had the first nutrition site in the state of Indiana, so we moved into Marshall County in 1973 and 1974 to expand those nutrition sites. We've been there for over 40 years. And Miriam, she's been here even longer. She rode to this school in Tyner on a bus pulled by a horse. And until he died a few years ago, Miriam shared six beautiful children and a life helping others alongside the boy she met in high school, a boy named Orville, who she married after graduation. As a couple, they used to help other people at the Real Services Nutrition Site. They were inseparable. Now Miriam comes almost every day for a simple healthy meal of her own and the kind of day-to-day -day friendship and activities that she used to enjoy all those years with Orville. I look forward to it. I feel like we're all friends. I, I, I feel like it's helped so many elderly people. You begin to feel like family. It does enrich our living. Miriam and others like her, one little thing, one simple meal is keeping them in the community, and that's where we always want to be as long as possible. You're with other people. There's different activities, some things that we learn, the nutrition and blood pressure. The cost of a nutrition meal is, is about $6 a day. Uh, Marion pays all her own expenses and she donates to the nutrition program. But a nursing facility can cost up to four and $5,000 a month. And over 50% of those in nursing homes are paid for by tax dollars. I look forward to it. Nutrition sites will always be so much more than a meal. You feel like family. Today, we're helping people with disabilities in Marshall County stay out of acute care facilities too. Sometimes they're young people like Emily. Born with MS, Emily couldn't take a shower because her wheelchair wouldn't roll over the lip of a normal stall. And she needed help getting in and out of bed. She still can't do many of the simple things that the rest of us take for granted. I really don't let it bother me. I try to do everything I can. Her own 10-year-old daughter has had to take care of her when no one else could. And that 10-year-old daughter was caring for her mother each and every day. Though they live with Emily's loving parents, mom and dad have their own health problems, and they've had trouble lifting her. What a remarkable family. The grandmother of this 10-year-old was caring for her daughter and her 10-year-old granddaughter. So when a real services case manager was assigned, a special medical lift was brought to the house to make lifting Emily a lot easier. And then the shower was modified so that she could roll right in. And the first time Emily used it, she stayed in that shower until there wasn't any hot water left in the whole house. It is absolutely amazing what we're allowed to be a part of their family and other families. It is a gift. It's truly a gift. There's other people like me that need help and I'm telling 
all the time to call real services. Emily's mom gets tears in her eyes when she tries to explain how much these little things mean to their family. Keeping Emily out of a nursing home means everything to them. For a good chunk of his life, Will helped low-income people fix up their homes. When he was diagnosed with cancer, he moved back to Marshall County where he could spend a couple of years fixing up his own home. Will doesn't want his wife to worry about a roof over her head when he's gone. The house was paid for, but it didn't have a kitchen and it needed insulation badly. Will could build the kitchen, but he was getting weaker every day. So he called the Real Services Energy Assistance Program to see if they qualified for weatherizing. I hated, you know, I had pride. We met a wonderful man who said literally he was trying to get his house in order. A very proud man. You can tell this gentleman doesn't ask for help very often. But the little 800 square foot house needed a lot more than insulation. I don't think I could have got it all done. It was touching and I could tell uh, as we talked that she, she was having a difficult time. She cares for him deeply. His concern was very much for his wife. Over the course of one week, Real Services insulated the house, fixed the bathroom ceiling fan, replaced the gutters, insulated the water heater, and replaced the furnace. Auditors from our um, agency go and look at a house to determine what can be done to permanently fix this home. So it's not a Band-Aid. You tighten up that home for the rest of the home's life. I don't know how long I've got, but at least I know that I've got a house that she can live in. He hated to ask for help, but because he did, now he knows, and so do we, that when Will's gone, his wife will have a good roof over her head. Labor of love? Of course. The question is, whose? It is amazing to me that we're allowed, that we are fortunate enough to be involved in the lives of um, these people that are working so hard to be independent in so many ways, and that we're allowed to play a small part. It's really an honor. As we look to the future, when 20% of our entire population will consist of older adults, real services will be here, innovating, cultivating partnerships, encouraging independence in every neighborhood, village and town throughout Marshall County, serving people of every age, any income level, as guardians with in-home assistance, information, advice and counseling about long-term care options, Medicare the Medicaid, weatherization, nutrition sites and a lot more, all with the dignity and respect that everyone deserves. Today, the support of community leaders and volunteers like you ensures that these programs will be here for me, for you, and the people you love tomorrow. Real Services. <laughs>